What the hell? York, Emily is here. Time to say goodbye then. Thomas, let me tell you one more time. It's not too late. I can help you. Just untie me and let me go. If you don't, the situation will be irreversible, unfixable. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? Everyone, everything proceeds along a path preordained by fate. Goodbye, then. I wonder who'll be the next person to open this door. Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. Zack, what was I supposed to say? All I can do now is wait.
You sure took your time. <laughs> Thomas, you've got nowhere to run now. Just surrender yourself. Emily, I've been waiting for you. Where's York? Is he okay? <laughs> He's quite the handsome one, isn't he? I liked him the moment I saw him. He likes someone else, of course. Who do you think that is? Hmm? I'm asking you if he is okay. Answer me. Oh, yes. He is handsome. But me and Carol, we love not him, but a different person. My lovely G. Cut the crap. Do you know what you're doing? Why, yes, I do. All too well. Far better than you do, I think. You know nothing about yourself, nor this town. Please don't make me shoot you. <laughs> You're a silly, sad little woman. We're heading for devastation. All of us. And no one can stop it. <laughs> Oh, Thomas, you're sick, but there's still time. We can get you help. I'll help you. You're too kind, Emily. As kind as a goddess. That's why he likes you. This town is soiled, and only you are shining in it. That's right, Thomas. Let's just leave here together. It was so much better back then. We had so much fun. Emily, that was before you came. I won't let you have him. Die, 
Emily. you so much. Die, you skanky swine. Sit you stinking mutt. Get away. Get away from me. Get off. Hey! York! Are you okay? I'm fine. Got to spend some quality time with Zack. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? York, Thomas is dead. I shot him. 
He tried to kill me. Thomas, I suppose that this is the fate you talked about. But Emily, what about the murderer? I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. Thomas's actions may have surprised you, I understand that. But our job is to catch the killer, isn't it? You didn't let the killer get away. York, are you saying that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? What? That makes no sense. Emily, are you out of your mind? Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. But he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also doesn't have the reverse peace symbol on his back. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? I need you to be strong, Emily. If Thomas is not the killer, then there is only one other possibility. The only one with free access to the department files and doesn't have an alibi at the time of the killings. Love she himself. George? George is the killer? And since when did you start thinking this? I wasn't sure to start with, but you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar. That was when I became 100% positive. But George didn't have the tattoo on his back. Ah, oh, right. He doesn't have a tattoo on his back. But there is a pattern there. What do you mean? Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey, you two! Could you explain this so I can understand what's going on? Emily, come in. Emily here. I rescued Agent York from the clock tower. Thomas is dead. I was forced to shoot him. I see. Huh. And you two are both all right? Uh, York is a little weak, but we're heading back to the department now. Okay. I'll do the same. Emily. George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yes. Then what we are about to do is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? York, I'm Deputy Sheriff. This might be a small town, but I take pride in that. It's my duty to make sure that we catch all the bad guys in Greenville. Even if it means facing an end that I would never have hoped for. Okay. Then let's get moving. This case is going to end at the Sheriff's Department. This is madness! Will, come on, let's go with it. Chickening out now would be like leaving after eating the appetizers. 